Hey, all midlife wives. Are you sitting in a space where you feel stuck, unhappy, unfulfilled, lacking energy and significance? Maybe you feel that you've lost your spark or you're sitting in a phase of transition. Don't worry, I'm here for you. That is why I've created the Midlife Wife to empower and educate you on how to unlock your mindset, rewire the limiting beliefs that you have about yourself, reconnect to your creator, and revive your health, mindset, and dreams so that you can be fueled, feisty, and fierce right now, right as you are in the life you are leading. Welcome to the Midlife Wife Podcast, where we choose to rise with courage and successfully disrupt mediocrity to live insanely significant lives that light us up, while possibly still in our yoga pants with three-day-old hair. Are you with me? Hey, I'm Katie Hallberg, top 20% realtor, churned real estate investor and broker, a top 6% network marketer, certified personal trainer, and lover of all things from the personal growth, nutrition, and health and wellness departments. I believe when we get out of our own way and let God show up, that's where the magic happens. I'm so grateful that you're here. Let's dig in to reviving your mind, body, and dreams. everybody. It's Katie Hallberg, the Midlife Wife, and I'm here to talk to you today about health and nutrition. And so is my dog, Pete. Apparently, he's just busted into my room. So one of the things that you have to get into your habit and routine if you want to be healthy is you need to meal plan. You need a meal prep. You need to make that grocery list and get organized in your shopping so that then you are organized in your eating. So I'm going to just share with you guys what I do, how I do it. It's simple, easy, so you can start implementing some of the things into your life. I I have found that I usually do it on Sunday. Usually Sunday, I'm looking ahead for the week and I'm planning out my whole life and just seeing what is in store for the week ahead, scheduling my big rocks and picking some food to cook, picking some food to cook. My family likes to eat. They don't always like to eat the food I cook. My kids say it's too healthy sometimes. That's okay. So I pick, depending on the size of your family and like how often you want to do this, start small, maybe cooking, you don't cook at all. So maybe just pick one a week for a month and then add and then add two for the next week for a month and then three meals a week for the next month. Because when you build those habits and those pathways, then you're going to keep them up. So Sunday, I'm usually on the couch and I'm surrounded by cookbooks and my favorite websites for healthy eating to get inspiration because I get tired of the same old rut. Although sometimes the rut's kind of good and simple. And then I have a list on my phone. This is a like a, a little hack. If you have an Apple phone, I use the reminders and I have grocery list. So I have the name of the grocery store. And one of us where I live in Austin is HEB. I also have a Costco list. And the best part about this is I can share this list with my family. So I have teenagers. And so when things run out, it's their responsibility to put on the list or it's not going to get, it's not going to get purchased at the store. And then I use that to make my list to shop. So the first thing I do is I flip through all these magazines and websites and books and just kind of get inspiration of what I want to cook. And that might also be looking in the refrigerator or the freezer to see what needs to get eaten up. And then I make a list of three, two, we'll just say two to four. That's pretty average for me. Two to four recipes I'm going to cook for the week. And I use notes on my phone, the notes app, and I write them down. Or I'll use a little piece of paper, a little yellow pad, and write down what I want to cook. And then I start looking at the recipes. And I will see what I have and what I don't have. Like this week, I'm making a brown rice noodle, red curry Thai dish with veggies. And I have red curry paste. I don't think I did, but I do. And so I will put the red curry paste on there, the fish sauce, if I need any more soy sauce, if I need brown rice noodles, whatever I need. And I fill out my list 
based on the recipes I picked. Now, if I'm using a website to find a recipe, I will get that hyperlink to that website and put it in my notes. So I can just quickly, easily reference it back when I'm in the kitchen. Okay, so first is couch. Second is surround yourself with recipes, books, websites, your favorite ones. And then you make your list of what you're gonna eat or what you're gonna cook and be realistic on how many meals you feel like you can prep. And then third, you build out your shopping list from what you're gonna cook, right? Makes total sense. And then you go shopping and you get the stuff. Now, when I'm building out my list and my recipes and my ingredients, I like to double one or two of them. I like to double up on these recipes because we're home. Tom and I have been home and working from home since way before COVID-19 and some of the kids are home right now and we can pull these leftovers for lunch. And I even like to go ahead and package them up in little boxes, in little containers, little glass containers I got from Costco. So I box them up into individual portion size so I can just heat and eat for lunch. So we have just leftovers duplicated. Now, if you're like, want some ideas and inspiration on what to cook, I like to just like, kind of think in like the days of the week. So Monday, maybe you do like a meatless Monday, or maybe it's a meatloaf, you know, either way, either side of the coin, but then it's consistent. We have landed on a taco Tuesday. We have landed on taco Tuesday. So we have tacos and sometimes they are beyond meat, meatless. Sometimes they are butternut squash, black bean, which I posted a while back. Sometimes they're regular traditional tacos. Maybe they're chicken tacos, but I are fish tacos. Ah, we could even have breakfast tacos. So taco Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, just wellness Wednesday. Maybe you don't eat healthy and you're like, okay, Wednesday, I'm going to eat healthy on a Wednesday. Wellness Wednesday, Thursday, maybe designate a day for leftovers where you don't cook. Um, Friday, fun Friday, fish. Um, what else could you do? Finger food. You can make a fun finger food day for Friday. How fun would that be? So, so fun. Depending on the ages of the people you're feeding, maybe they're old and they need their fingers or maybe they're young and they need their fingers. And salads and soup might be a Saturday. Now, Sundays, I always try to do a little bit fancier. I try to go a little bit in and gather my family back around the table. If nobody has work, I have three teenagers. One doesn't live here anymore, is off at college, but still in the same city. So I try to do like a Sunday dinner with a little bit extra, um, maybe grilling or, or whatnot. Happy holidays, friends. The 2020 holiday season is upon us, but that doesn't mean the pounds have to be. If your pan button and buttonhole are starting to socially distance themselves, it might be time for the 10 day shake challenge. That's right, 10 days only, because that full 30 days to healthy living program during the holidays really hurts my feelings. So I'm hosting two 10 day shake challenges this holiday season, one in November and one in December. And you simply replace one to two meals a day with a delicious vegan protein shake and you replace your sugary drinks with energy fizz sticks and then sip on some delicious detox tea. It's going to be supported with a private Facebook group with healthy meal ideas, shake recipes, snack ideas. To get in on this, all you have to do is email me. My email address is the midlifewife at gmail.com and I will send you information and give you a link on how to sign up. Again, the midlifewife at gmail.com. And that's how I do it. What I find is that I'm more on point and with my health journey because I have a list. I'm spending less at the store because I'm less distracted. And, you know, I end up with, like, I used to just like end up like, oh, I feel like I need a green bean. And then I have these green beans. And, oh, I feel like I need an onion. And I come home and I had tons of onions. So I'm not wasting food by it going bad and not using it. And I'm not spending too much at the store by getting extra stuff I don't even need. So that really helps. And then you could even like hone this down, which I did. I'm not real good at this yet, but you can hone it down and just have it delivered. You just have it delivered to your house and you don't even have to go to the store. If you have a really busy life, this will like save you so much time. You'll be real on point cooking. And then what's great about doing these things too, if you have children like I do, is that they see the organization, they see the cooking, they see the leftovers. And it's so fun to see those fruits now. I see that fruit 
with my oldest who's off in college and lives in a co-op and he is the chef on Friday nights. And so he's been calling me like, mom, how do you make that taco, that fish taco recipe? Or what do you do to make the guacamole you make? And so now it's the fruits are coming up in the next generation, which I totally, totally love warms my heart. Um, so those are my tips. You can carry these out through the holidays, any time of your life. Um, just meal planning, meal prepping. It's the, it's the, it's the before the cooking to get organized and knowing what you're going to eat. I'd love to know your questions. So drop them below. If you're watching this, um, live with me on Facebook, or if you're listening to the podcast recording or on YouTube, just love to know your questions. Love to know what you're cooking for dinner. What are your habits? What are your routines? Cause I can always improve and grow and learn from other people that cook. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope you have a fantastic dinner. Now, before you go, if you found value in today's episode, if you connected with something or felt inspired in any way, pretty please take a screenshot for me and post it up in your Instagram and Facebook stories and be sure to tag me because together we can inspire encourage and empower others to live amazing intentional lives. Yes, we can. Let's do it.